All right, we'll start with a, an opening statement from Coach Ford. Uh, Hard-fought game, super proud of our guys. Uh, Northeastern is hard to play. Uh, everyone knows it's difficult to beat a team three times. Now, there's an exception to that. If you're significantly better than the other team, I guess it's not that hard, but uh, that team is close to us. We had three dogfights. I mean, that was a that was an absolute, uh, really good, hard fought game both ways. Um, so thrilled we're moving on. Uh, a lot of guys played well. Obviously, Dean was terrific, but uh, we needed everybody today. That's for sure. Start with questions in the room and in front to Nick. Dean, what went right today? Twenty three career high. <laughs> Look pretty good out there. Thanks. Uh, just getting a quick start to the game. Sometimes I just pass it too much, and I was aggressive today, and just making making shots. <laughs> yeah. And back to John. Uh, Dean John Titel from Hoops HD. Um, you've been playing college basketball since 2018, and had never won a postseason game before. You lost a CIT game, and you lost an IV semi. Um, were you worried this day would never come? And how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it feels great. Um, just trying to take it one game at a time. But yeah, definitely looking forward to play again tomorrow and hopefully have the same feeling. <laughs> In front, Trevor. Coach, I uh, held him to 35% from the field for the game. Talk about how impressed you were with your defense tonight. Well, our length is is good inside. And um, I got a ton of respect for Doherty. I, I think Chris Doherty um, not being all league was shocking to me. Uh, so for us to be able to, you know, and any time a, a great player has a bad offensive game, it's it's two things. He was off whether, you know, that's some us, and sometimes that's just the player not really, you know, making plays like they normally do. Uh, I, I give our big guys credit. I thought they made it hard on him. I thought our guards really did a good job doubling him. Um, but he, he he's a great player, and we were able to keep him from being a huge factor, which he typically is for them. And that that's probably why we won the game, and that's honestly why they didn't score it as well. Um, we also were aided with some missed free throws. You know, sometimes our best defense was to foul them, and they missed, and that was good. But um, but they got it. You know, they're they're hard to play. They're really hard to play. Dean Nick said it. First of all, I want to apologize for speaking on a career high of 15 minutes left in the second half. I, I apologize for the jinx. Um, but what did you see from the defense? Obviously, you mentioned the two matchups prior. They were both really close games. Anything that you saw differently from them today that may have uh, led to a, a career night? Um, I played pretty poorly. I actually didn't score against them the very first game we played them. I had zero points, first time, I think ever. So a little revenge. And quite frankly, I uh, didn't want it to be my last college basketball game. So go out there with some energy. Going to go to Zoom and to Dennis Gorman. Hey, Gino. Uh, what kind of luxury is it to have Dean, Tyler, and Aaron, all upperclassmen, in these kind of games? Hi, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Yeah, I, it's it's enormously important to have great guard play in the postseason. And uh, I thought Dean was clearly great all day. Tyler was was really, really good today. Aaron got off to a slow start, and um, I think it was around the 12-minute mark of the second half. We subbed him out just for 30 seconds or so, and I told him when he went over, I said, you're going to make some big shots for us down the stretch. He, he always does. When we win, those three guys tend to have their fingerprints on it. They got the balls in their hand a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, really happy for, for those guys. I mean, Dean came back off a redshirt year with an injury, and, um, you know, he, he would never – uh, uh, say this, but the the reality is the the guy has played every game all year, and he he needs knee surgery. So he's out there with not even a healthy knee, and uh, a knee, quite frankly, that I don't think I've in my 25 years of coaching I couldn't name three guys that would go through a season like that. And Dean's just tough as nails. Kind of looks like the innocent uh, neighbor that you got, uh, but he's just kind of a silent assassin. I mean, I wouldn't. Dean's a guy you'd 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 meet in an alley and and think you were in good shape, and you'd get your butt kicked. Uh, he's just a tough, tough dude, man. And he doesn't take days off when he plays poorly. He he never makes an excuse. Um, he's had his knee drained more times than I can count uh, this season to get through the year. And 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 so for him to have a big game knowing what he's done to get here uh, was quite frankly as, as a coach a special for me to watch um, you know and, and I thought he was just it, it was fun and, and if anybody deserved it it was him uh, but we got a big task ahead of us tomorrow clearly um, we've had a struggle all year defensive rebounding that continued today uh, and that will be an issue tomorrow if we can't solve it and and we talk about it and we say all the right things but 
we've got to rebound the ball better. And, um, you know, do we, when you get a stop and they grab it and score two points on a putback, that's that's brutal. And, and it happened way too much today. And it's happened in other games, but hopefully we can correct it for tomorrow. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.